Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I am a dermatology resident and I give advice based on my own life experiences for anyone who's thinking about or currently training in medicine. If this sounds like something you're interested in, be sure to subscribe to my channel now. So, so today we're talking about why I chose a special master's program over a post back. And if you have been following my channel for a while, you know that I love my special master's program. I attribute a lot of it to me getting into medical school. I recommend it a lot to, uh, um, to many people, including one of my best friends, who's now an OBGYN resident today. So let's get started as to what I was looking for when I decided to um, apply to a program after undergrad and why I chose my special master's program. So when I decided I was definitely going to, you know, go down the route of becoming a doctor, I was figuring out if I should do a special master's program or a post back. I looked at both, but when I was looking at both, I was realized that I, first of all, met the requirements for a special master's program because I did do prereqs in undergrad. So with meeting the, the, um, the requirements of doing the prereqs and when I looked at other requirements, you know, I took the MCAT, um, I had a GPA that would meet the requirement for a special master's program. The biggest thing for me though was that I was doing an, more courses. So the, I had to ask myself, did I want more courses that would go into an undergrad GPA or courses that would be completely separate? For me, I like the fact that the special master's program is completely separate um, GPA because uh, it looks, it's, you know, I've moved on from undergrad. Whatever mistakes I made then, I made. And now this GPA was going to show a completely different version of me, a more responsible person who now knows what her dreams are. So I like that it was a completely separate GPA as well as the fact that I got a master's degree at the end. When I had, when I graduated college and was applying for jobs, like, you know, jobs that might be in research or science or whatever it was, a lot of them were asking for like master's degrees. And like, and they were also asking for like five years experience, but it was just, and even for like not great of a pay, but I was just like, well, if I'm going to go for a more education, I might as well get a master's degree at the end because it can influence getting a better job if things don't work out the way I want it to. So I love that I was able to get a master's degree at the end of it. So those were the two big reasons for me. Another thing that I really liked was that I loved the way the formal program was. My program mimicked the first two years of medical school. We took classes with professors who were teaching the medical students. So I really liked that all of the courses were something that were relatable to medical school. I saw that a lot of programs would have these random courses, which they would be higher level science courses, but it just didn't make sense for medical school. And I really didn't like that. I loved that every course that I was looking at was something that they would do in medical school. So we were doing embryology, um, biochemistry, um, histology, you know, we we're doing all those kind of courses. So that was really important for me. So I knew that whatever I was learning in my special master's program, I will see again in medical school and I always say that medical school the first year was actually not that bad for me which allowed me to do all the organizations that I was a part of because I had seen a lot of the topics before in my special master's program. In addition to the program having a formal program where they had courses that um, they had courses that mimic the first two years of medical school additionally I didn't have to make the courses myself there are programs where you would have to like design the the classes and pick what classes you wanted to take. They just gave us um, a schedule and that's what we had to work with. And I just love that. We were also given a pre-med advisor and I love that as well. If you watched my last, my previous videos, you know that I didn't think that I had great mentorship in undergrad. However, my master's program, they really sat me down and pointed out all the different things I needed. And because it came with a pre-med advisor who really you know, went through everybody's individual cases and told them what they needed to do to improve what I thought was um, key. Also, in my program, we were given medical student mentors. So a medical student within the medical school class at the program I was um, doing my master's program would be assigned to us to help guide us. 
And my medical student mentor was really great because she also was like non-traditional, actually studied business before medical school, had a whole family, like a husband and kids. So I love that she was coming in um, with that kind of experience. And she really helps me get involved with my shadowing experiences. So that was another thing. Of course, I didn't know that when I was applying, but in their, in a, um, their, on their website, they said that you'll be assigned not only a pre-med advisor, but also a medical student mentor as well. Another thing for me is that I know people who did post -backs and like they still end up doing a special master's program. So just from my own life experiences from seeing that, I was just like more turned off from the special master's program. I mean, more. I was more turned off from the post back, but in general, for me, a post back wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted a. I wanted the opportunity to get another degree, to have a formal program, to get really great mentorship, um, and like I said, I met the requirements because I did have pre, pre um, prerequisites needed. So for me, it was a no brainer. Then when it came to cost effectiveness as well, my my program actually was cheaper than putting together all those courses that you would need to for a post back. So I was just like, wow, I'm doing this program in one year because it was an accelerated program. It's uh, um, cheaper to do it this way. And I'm getting a master's degree, master's degree at the end. Why wouldn't I do that? Now I know a lot of the post back programs, I know a lot of the special master's programs are two years. And I think that if you are getting great mentorship and um, getting a master's degree at the end of it and it has like a great formal program that a lot of it is going to like would help you with medical school I would definitely recommend doing that another thing is the linkage programs a lot of people do either the special master's program or even post backs for the linkage programs I've seen a lot of people you know not succeed through the, these linkage programs but everybody's story is different my program actually didn't have a linkage program um, but there are special master's programs that do have a linkage program if that's something that you're looking to do. A lot of these linkage programs, you really need a really high GPA. So technically I could ha would have benefited from that because I did get a 4.0 in my special master's program, but you know, not everyone is able to do that. And, uh, and more people than not don't get into the linkage program. So with that, you should choose a program where you're more likely to just, you know, succeed in it and be able to use that on your application to get into medical school. So in summary, that's why I decided to take do my specific special master's program. Everyone's journey is different. If you decide to do a post back, tell me why in the comments. If you decide to do a special master's program, tell me why in the comments. If you're still in between, let me know what's going on. Um, I love chatting with you guys and I look forward to chatting with you at my next video. Bye.